What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning, hope you're all doing great and welcome to your update on XRP. It's been a while since we covered it, uh, well, maybe two or three days, uh, but wanted to make a, a, a quick video on that because overall I think XRP is actually doing doing quite well. Um, I would actually say that we're leaning to the to the bullish side of things. Uh, last, uh, last Friday when we got a lot of bullish momentum in the markets, we tried to get some sort of a bullish breakout because I... I uh, think the main resistance level is 52 and a half cents. Um, we broke above that, but it was more like a fake out. So I think we actually have a chance to break above that, even though right now Bitcoin is opening fairly bull uh, bearish. But uh, that's what, uh, what I wanted to talk about in this video. Before we get into that, though, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comment, and there you'll find instructions on how to join. So, all right, and uh, now onto XRP. So first of all, I will not be talking too much about the fundamentals. Um, and with the fundamentals, I mainly obviously um, obviously mean the, uh, the Ripple SEC lawsuit going on. Um, if there's updates on that, if there's anything useful to tell you about that, I will do that. I will even make a, a, a dedicated video on that. Um, so if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe. But for now, there's, there's not a lot I can say. I, I can say quite a lot of things about the economic fundamentals around crypto now. Uh, but that's already kind of in intertwined in my analysis of Bitcoin. So if you want to check that out, check my uh, Bitcoin video. Uh, and what I think about XRP is also partly based on what I think for Bitcoin because of the correlation, of course. So don't worry, it's uh, it's it's all in there. So right now, the biggest thing is, is that um, XRP is in kind of a, a weird situation because you could very well argue that we are in a consolidation moving sideways between 52 and a half cents and 50 cents which is true. But I would say that there's a bit more bullish momentum, uh, even though we just had a bearish break retest through the uh, 50 EMA and the 28 EMA. Uh, this support level right here at around 51 cents, I think actually has the potential to, to get us a bullish breakout. Now that does depend on Bitcoin though. Bitcoin right now is opening fairly bearish. I think we will find support at some point of time. But that kind of translates to, to XRP as well, because we, we have already dropped down to that like 51 cents area. I think overall, look, this is kind of the, the area where we can find support. So it's a bit bigger than 51 cents. It's like between 51.1 cents and 50.7 cents. This is our main support level, I think. If we can actually uh, find support there and from there get up to 52 and a half cents, then I think we can break above that slowly, probably not the first time, and move up towards 54 cents. I really think that's a possibility. Right now, I would say, even though that Bitcoin is dropping, I would say the market is still very bullish. Um, and I think the, the, the overall sentiment around XRP is also still bullish. Now, the thing that could happen, though, and, and what, could, what, what can kind of be the, the destruction of this analysis and this idea is if we do not hold that level. And that's a possibility, especially on Monday. There's a lot of like direction. Uh, a lot of direction is brought into the market. So right now it seems like that direction will be bearish, right? So if Bitcoin actually drops down all the way to the support level at around 29,500, 29,200, I would still think that we are bullish technically, uh, but then what will happen is that XRP will drop down to 50 cents. And if XRP drops down all the way to 50 cents, which by the way is very realistic, um, then we will not have that bullish breakout above 52 and a half cents. Then we'll just find some support there uh, and then from there start to go up again. But then we have confirmed a consolidation. Um, so it's really about holding 51 cents and with that getting a new higher low. Um, and if we can get that, then that probably also means that there's more bullish momentum in the markets. Again, that correlation. Um, and then I think we have enough for XRP to break above 52 and a half cents. I think that's the most likely scenario right now, but um, I'll monitor it closely and I'll keep you updated on that. Uh, so for now, this is my take on XRP. So thank you for watching. Take care and bye.